An epidemiologist, uh, Dr. Avery Hines, says the health ministry has begun to see signs of fewer people infected with the virus in its daily counts. He says although Trinidad and Tobago is in its accelerating phase of the virus, the numbers are starting to look more favorable. But we are beginning to see signs that fewer and fewer people on our daily, uh, daily counts, not the ones that show up in the press releases that may have uh, numbers across a few days, but on the daily counts, we're starting to see where those numbers are starting to look a little more favorable, although they're still increasing. Meanwhile, Minister of Health Terence Dial Singh noted that over 90% of the persons or the COVID-19 patients that died have been persons over 60 years of age with comorbidities. He continues to urge young people to be careful around their elderly relatives, stating some examples were the victims who did not leave their homes and would have, would have been affected by their family members. There are a couple people who died elderly, who we know from their history had no way of leaving their homes because they were incapacitated either physically or through mental disease. They never left their home for the past two years, but the virus went home and met them. Mr. Dialsi notes that deaths recorded in Trinidad and Tobago are still below the international standard, and while he says that is nothing to celebrate, it shows that this country needs to return from community to cluster spread.